see you celebrate the best student films of 2014 at GCSE and A-Level. We'll see some of these outstanding films and hear from the award-winning students that produced them. The Brunswick Movie Bowl in Derry hosted day one of the Moving Image Art Showcase. I've just been looking at the films and they look absolutely superb. Year on year we see great improvements with Moving Image Arts uh, films uh, submitted as part of the qualification. Uh, I'm delighted to say that that continues in this year's batch as well. Uh, what really uh, encourages me is to see the really high quality and the broad spread of genre that students are now creating uh, film work in. You know, everything from humour through to, to great drama, gangster movies, you name it they're having a go at it, which is fantastic. It tells me two things, that first of all, we've got, a, we've got great students here in Northern Ireland who, who are very creative, but also that the teaching of the qualification um, is, is really top notch as well. So teachers are really getting to grips uh, with the standards and specification, and students are able to show their best talents as part of this fantastic qualification. I uh, studied um, moving image at A level and um, now I'm going on to do a university degree in film studies in the University of Surrey. Doing moving image at A level was like, it really gave you that background knowledge to carry on and it just kind of got your creative process like in motion, sort of how you understand film and how it sort of works. The fact that like it was something different that I'd never done in school before and it was like really creative and really practical just kind of broke up this sort of academicness and that's really what I've always wanted to do so it was good fun to actually put my career plans in motion. The things that we've learnt in Move an Image I've now carried forward into the degree and it gives me like that sort of higher level when I'm doing my essays and stuff for my modules. It was amazing to see it on such a large scale after hours of like sitting in my room just animating and drawing over and over again just to see it all finished and have people clap at it. It was just an amazing feeling, like really rewarding. I've always loved drawing and I've always said to myself, like people would say, why don't you be an artist? But I'm like, I'd rather see my drawings move and come to life on screen than have them just sitting on a page. So that's what made me want to animate. And then moving images in A-level has given me that opportunity and I've loved it. I really want to like do little individual animations or probably, I don't know, work with Disney at some point. But it's kind of over ambitious, but that's what I want to do. It must feel great to have four award winning students at this event today. Unbelievable, Emma. Like for the kids to have this experience, wonderful uh, arena for them to see their movies, big screen friends and family here, uh, their school colleagues, it's just fantastic, you know. And Moving Image Arts is, I'm sure, a wonderful qualification to teach. Well, it's unbelievable, so all my dreams came through. I taught music for 25 years in the school, and then this wonderful subject came along that uh, brought together music, was into photography, and then this Moving Images came along, so I just bought into it, and uh, I'd really had a few skills that I developed in school myself through doing videos for school productions, things like that. And uh, we started with seven, uh, young kids and uh, one has just qualified now with a Masters in Film Studies from Queen's uh, which is great. Jack now is studying it across the water and uh, it's just uh, it's a real buzz subject about the school. Great and Jack you are one of our top candidates yes. from last year and now you have your film on yeah. the big screen. How did that feel today? Yeah it was really good. It's, it's always good as from last year too to come here and see your film on the big screen and to see everyone else's work and like the standard was amazing especially this year. The, the standard of all the films in each of the categories was really good and it's great to see like the talent that there is in Northern Ireland in such a small place. We 
caught up with more of our award winners on day two of the Moving Image Art Showcase at the Queen's Film Theatre Belfast. I think it is important as a filmmaker to kind of every now and then be reminded that the work you're doing is quite good and I think events like this do that. And what CM managed to do with Moving Image Arts and Mr. Gallagher and St. Malachy's and a lot of the other students I studied with was turn that unfathomable dream that you have when you're like eight or nine of getting to make movies into something that's not just a reality but like a celebrated reality and that's proven by days like today. When I left St. Malachy's last year in, in May 2013, I sort of... It was that crossroads between film school and, and actually making films. And I was lucky enough at that stage to have a really great network of, of talented and creative people around me. So what we did was we took the kind of, I took the year between uh, leaving St Malachy's and, and now uh, to work on, on films and stuff. And I produced a, a short and then this summer we just, yeah, we just directed, uh, I just directed my first feature, which was very exciting. It's a really good time to be making films, especially in Northern Ireland. It's kind of become something of a hub for the creative industries. The interesting thing for me about Moving Image Arts is not only are, are the films getting you know, better in terms of production value, the talent is just getting... There's just, it's, you're just seeing more and more creative movies every year and it's really, really exciting. And so I think there are a lot of people in that room today who are going to just kind of get the ball rolling and, and make, make, make feature films. I think what I enjoy most about it is seeing the whole process from start to finish, like just the ideas in your head and then getting it sketched on and then actually seeing it like come to life on the screen is probably my favourite part of it. Well, my teacher actually showed me quite a lot of animation because um, that's what he does and I watched quite a lot of vintage animation as well, so it was that kind of whole black and white, like old style animation that really inspired me and just made me want to do it. I'm currently doing AS and hoping to take it on to A2 next year. Hey, how's it going? It's Wiggles the Clown. World class entertainer, fun for all the family. And don't think you just do birthdays neither, I'll do them all. You name it, I'll entertain it. I need work, people. When I first uh, thought of the idea for a film, it wasn't meant to be a comedy, it was meant to be a horror film. And it was my, my wonderful moving art, moving image arts teacher that suggested to make it into a comedy and I'm, I'm so glad he did. It was, it's, uh, it was such a good experience to, to make. I mean, sure, he took my job, but it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Really, I'm extremely happy for him and the success. I've always supported him. He has such a talent, and I'm sure he'll go on to do great things. I never, ever, ever thought one of my films would be on, on a big screen like that. And the fact that everyone enjoyed it was just so satisfying. I'm studying drama here at Queen's. Even though I'm doing a different course, I still get to do bits of, of film studies and still get to um, experience that, that film making process. I think film's definitely something I do for a career. Um, film's been such a big part of my life for so long. It's a really big passion of mine. Um, and one way or another, I definitely do think that film will be a part of my future. I really didn't expect for it to come first and it was just, Overall, I was really proud to see it on the screen and like be with my friends and them to experience with it with me. I like the film Saving Private Ryan and I like The Hurt Locker as well and they really influenced me in how my film was made. From St Malachy's College, Belfast, and collecting his third prize today <laughs> is Matthew McGuigan for High Tide. Congratulations. <laughs> You know, just after you're making a film, when you just see it shown on your computer monitor instead of up on the big screen, it's like an entirely different experience. You, you really feel more like an actual filmmaker than just like someone sitting at a computer who spent the last like month working on something that only you cared about, really. Some say gold is the root of all evil. Turns good man bad and bad man better. This man is the worst of the worst and used to be my best friend. His name... I think like the work ethic required for uh, being able to complete a moving image film, like just being able to be so dedicated on one project definitely helps you with studying or with working towards other subjects as well because um, it's sort of the same process that you need to be working at it every day and working on 
well, my case, a film uh, just every day to make it better.